I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to share with you my recipe for um, crackle style cheesecake. Uh, we call it Cernik Krakowski and it might be a perfect recipe for coming Easter. I got the recipe from my dad and it is delicious. It's a little bit different kind of cheesecake. It does have a crust on the bottom but as well on top. So the the layer of uh, cheese actually it's a little bit more dense and and heavy but delicious i hope you guys are going to give it a try and in case you decide to do that let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need So we starting with preparing our crusts, uh, we transfer the flour into the food processor, then we add salt and sugar and baking powder and then we're going to pulse it a little bit until all is well combined. Then we'll add our cold butter cut into small cubes just like this and then we're going to be pulsing it again just until we almost cannot see our butter like this. Then we add our eggs and our heavy cream there we go and now we're going to be processing it until our dough forms nice ball just like that there we go and then we go for another 10 seconds or so until it's ready we flatten it nice and wrap it in a plastic wrap i'm making it so flat so it's easier for me later on to roll it out and this goes into the fridge for one hour and after an hour I'm removing from the fridge half of my uh, dough the other half I'm putting back in the fridge and then I'm rolling it I'm just trying to make it a uh, closer um, size to my uh, baking pan and I'm using 8x8 eight eight baking pan which um, we need to uh, spray with the non-stick spray or um, um, if you have a baking spray it's good as well and then we're lining it with a uh, parchment paper this will make it much easier later on to take our cheesecake out of the pan then i have my our rolled out dough and i'm fitting it in perfectly with my fingers just like that and then I'm going to be poking it with a fork and this goes into the oven preheated to 180 degrees for 15 minutes and now I have my cheese you can use a ricotta cheese but if you're using ricotta cheese you need to leave it overnight in a cheesecloth uh, on the on the drainer now I use my uh, pot cheese and I left my pot cheese when you look at my recipe when I'm keeping it normally for half an hour uh, in the cheesecloth I left it over night as well. I'm going to uh, process my uh, cheese in my uh, food processor for around a minute until it's nice and creamy and smooth. Then into my stand mixer I'm adding my soft butter and I'm going to be beating it until it's nice uh, and fluffy. Okay just like that and then I'm going to add my creamed um, cheese. Here we go. Yeah, and then we're going to process it together until it's all nicely uh, incorporated. Then I'm going to add the sugar. And now I'm going to process it for, I would say, around a minute or so. It's nice fluffy and it changed color to the pale. And then we're going to be adding our eggs one at a time. Okay, and after our second egg is incorporated, we're going to add vanilla. And then just process it for another 10 or 15 seconds and now we are ready you see the consistency is pretty thick for a cheesecake but that's how we want it we're going to add our raisins and then sprinkle our flour on top and gently folding folding it in but we want to make sure that the flour is well incorporated though and now we're going to transfer it on top of our baked crust and uh, level it uh, out nicely just like that and then we're going to uh, roll out our second part of dough and we're going to go pretty thin uh, I'm going around the one millimeter one and a half just like you can see here after it's rolled out I'm using my uh, cookie cutter 
just to uh, cut stripes around between half a centimeter to one centimeter thick just how you like it and then I'm arranging it on top of my cheese layer in a crisscross pattern just like this and this goes into the oven preheated to 150 degrees celsius for an hour after half an hour i'm covering my uh, cheesecake with a uh, aluminium foil just so it doesn't brown too much and after an hour i'm turning off my oven and let it stand for another hour and this is after two hours already now we're ready to remove it from the pa baking pan i'm using a blunt knife to run around the edges just so everything is removed from the paper or from my uh, pan and then I'm just going to lift it using my uh, parchment paper, paper to nicely transfer it on the plate here we go now using a white knife I'm holding my cheesecake in place and pulling the paper out just like this and now we're ready to let it cool completely before we're going to be cutting it into squares here we go we are ready to eat now you're going to uh, if you want to keep it for longer you want to keep the, the cheesecake in the fridge and accept that all is ready and i hope you enjoyed the recipe as usually please let me know what you think and i will see you next time bye